Hello and welcome to Helton's Computer Repair. On this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to uninstall Foxit Reader. Foxit Reader is an awesome program that I really like to use, and it's a free open source where you can use it for them. Or you can also pay for their pro version called the Phantom PDF from the same Foxit software. But if you don't want this program that's been having problems, or you want to use Adobe Reader, or if you want to use the Google Chrome as a PDF reader, or believe it or not, if you want to use the Edge PDF, yeah. Um, well, we can just uninstall this program and change that for you. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing to do is pretty much go ahead and go to Start. I'm going to go to Settings. From there, you'll go to Apps. And allow the programs to load. And you'll find the file called Foxit Reader. Go ahead and press the Uninstall. And press the Uninstall. And you'll probably be prompted for this. For the time period, I'm going to go ahead and press no. I'm going to show you another option to get to in case this program was not showing there. You can go to start. You can go to control panel. I just typed in control on the search bar. Then choose programs. Programs and features. And again, you'll see a list of programs. Here's the Foxit Reader from Foxit Software Incorporated. You'll press yes to uninstall it. And this will take you to the same, about the same location where the other one showed you. And you'll ask if you want to completely remove the program. You'll press yes. And it's uh, uninstalled it pretty quick. Would you like to remove your reader settings and history? I'm going to go ahead and press yes too because I don't want them anymore. And it's going to tell you to our site to make a survey. I don't really care about their survey about it. And pretty much press OK. And the program has been uninstalled. I don't see it here anymore. Let's verify by going to, um, we'll go to control panel first. I will go to programs and programs and features. I don't see it there. Again, let's go ahead and go to settings just to verify. And then I do not see it there either. So it seems that we are good. Thank you for watching from Houghton's Computer Repair, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store, link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.